Yo, what is up guys? I've been getting a lot of compliments on my thumbnails and I do appreciate it. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to make a video on how I actually make them. Now, I typically make them in Adobe, which doesn't really fit the scope of this channel. Uh, the purpose of this channel is to teach you guys how to build a bomb brand on a budget, preferably for zero monies. And so I wanna show you guys a brilliant Photoshop alternative called Photopea. And honestly, I've been looking forward to making a video on this for a while now, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity. So today we're gonna to be kicking off a series that I'm calling Level Up My Thumbnails. And so the idea of this is you guys can submit thumbnails to my Discord channel. I'll have a channel in there specifically for leveling up thumbnails. If you have a thumbnail you want me to level up for you, uh, submit it in there. Today, we're gonna to be working on leveling up a thumbnail for my buddy SawMD Gaming. Uh, he did a video on the alchemy guide to Shadowlands. So we're gonna be taking this thumbnail from this to this. If you wanna learn how to do that, Let's get to it. By the way, guys, if you're not already, be sure to follow me over on twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. We stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, we play a few chill games. We're working our way through a Pokemon Nuzlocke right now that is kicking our butts. Uh, we also do designs and stuff just like this. So if you want to come hang out sometime, be sure to do it. And let's get to it. When you first log into Photopea, this is exactly what it's gonna look like. This is the free version. You can tell because I have all these ads over here. Uh, whatever, I'm not mad at them about it. They're, it's there because that's how they can offer for free. It's because that's how they make their money. I have nothing against them for that. It is still a brilliant program. So I look forward to getting started with it. So what I'm gonna do first thing is click new project. And I'm gonna set this, I'm gonna name it Alchemy Guide, right? Set 1920. All your thumbnails are gonna be 1920 by 1080. And you look, as I update the sizes, it's giving me some templates. Now, if there's anything here you want to use, go for it. Me? Uh, I'm good. So I'm going to hit create. Now, blank canvas. We're ready to go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a background. So I'm going to go with a WoW Shadowlands background. Um, and this is the one I already looked around through some of this stuff earlier. This is the one I like. Um, it comes up a lot. I, I don't really know much about WoW. I do apologize. You will know more about your own genre than what I know about it. So, uh, you know, solve it from there. But I'm going to grab it. I'm going to click copy image. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to control V to paste it in there. I think, yeah, there it is. That worked. You can see it's much bigger. So I'm going to press control minus sign to zoom out. Uh, you can also press Z and zoom in and out like that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I want to find one of my edges just like this. Hold down shift, you see shift locks it into its aspect ratio. So it's not all messed up. Put it right there. And I'm gonna drag it out so it fills up the screen. And then I wanna center this thing right here into the middle of my picture if I can. It says that center, so I'm gonna go just to bounce over, just like that. Okay, I think that's a nice background. Now, what I wanna do is I want to find a character. Um, and so I think how I found it is I typed in wow character PNG. And this works for any game, guys, by the way. If you want um, some nice pictures for your game, type in your game, character PNG, and a lot of times you're gonna find stuff just like this. Um, I think I had found a little goblin that I really liked for it. I think it was this guy right here. Uh, is this one actually right there? Um, and now it looks like it's transparent, um, but I did this last time and it was not. So I'll show you how to remove the background on any image you want anyway. So there we go. We have it just like this. Um, we're going to size it up. I'm going to hold down shift again to keep proportions right. And I'm going to zoom in on him just a little bit. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go to uh, object selection. We'll select all of this. I want to see if I can get more of that staff in here. If they come above it, maybe. Yes. See, it has some of this, but I think I can delete this after the fact. So let's go to select inverse and delete there we go. got rid of some of it i'm gonna go here i'm just gonna go to quick selection and press ctrl d to deselect everything else and i'm just gonna select a bunch of this white space that's here and there's enough contrast in this image that it should be able to register pretty well what i'm wanting what i don't want all right and delete that and click right inside here Sometimes it gets a little bit sensitive. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. It's like that. I want to see if I can get a little bit closer. Nope. 
I might see if I can get my eraser in there and clean that up just a little bit. But for now, let's just keep working our way around. Delete. Oh, I did not mean to save that, but we did. Okay, next, I'm just gonna grab my eraser tool. And I'm just gonna try to get pretty close. Just like that. A little bracket buttons to make that eraser a little bit bigger just to get rid of it. There we go. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, get in here and clean this up just a little bit. There we go. I think it's pretty good. Oh. So now we have the background completely erased from him. There are a few easier ways to do it, but this way you have complete control and you can make whatever changes you would like. Now, one thing I did to him, I didn't really love his color, so I actually went over here to image and I went to auto color auto contrast and auto tone. And I think he looks significantly better um, just with those few changes. So I'm gonna bring him down to this right foot is about level on a, a little bit larger here. I'll hold down shift to keep my proportion right there. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit of drop shadow. He's kind of blending into that background too much. So I definitely want him to pop out a little bit more. So I'm gonna right click on his layer right here. And I guess we probably should be lay lay naming these. So. And I don't want that to move, so I'm going to go and lock that one. And we'll put this as Goblin. All right. So here we can go to Blending Options. And we have a full suite. This is what I love about Photo P. Like, I, these are all the options I have in Photoshop. It's, it's really kind of insane. I'm just going to hit Drop Shadow. That's perfect, actually. I just, I mean, you can see the difference. Look at it over here. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. It, it pops him out from the background just the way I wanted. Okay, so the next thing I actually want is I want... Um, the WoW um, potion bottles. I think I typed in PNG last time and I found a decent image that worked for it. Um, like I want the actual one, so let's see. Maybe I just typed in WoW Alchemy. PNG. Yeah, there we go. So that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna copy this image, come over here, back over to Photo P, paste it in, and now I'm gonna zoom in my object selection i'm gonna come right to the inside here and see if it'll grab that bottle for me there it is perfect i'm gonna go to select inverse delete everything i don't need now from here because that's that's kind of janky looking i want to clean it up just a little bit so i'm gonna grab my eraser tool again and i'm just gonna clean up some of these edges right it doesn't have to be perfect it's gonna be quite small for a thumb you know on the thumbnail you don't want it too rigid and it should be noted, you won't most likely won't have to do this. The last time I made this, I did not have to do it. I'm just guessing I didn't find the same image. But either way, that kind of gets you there. And you can see when I zoom out, you know, for the most part, it looks okay. I might bring some of this out down here at the bottom. Oh, did I mean to click that? I meant to click that. Because I want rid of some of this. Select a layer. Oh, you gotta have this layer selected. Okay, now let's zoom back out. Looks pretty good to me, just like that. Now what I wanna do to this, I wanna go to blending options. So like I did before, and I wanna add a drop shadow. Now on this one, I want the drop shadow to be a little bit closer. I'll just lower my distance. You can see further distance, puts it further out. Bring the distance, brings it further closer in. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Something like that, maybe add a little more rotation to it. And now I want three copies, so I'm gonna click on that layer. We'll say potion, right? Click on this layer and I'm gonna go control J, control J and make two copies of it. So here's one and I'm just gonna give it another bit of rotation and put it over here somewhere. And we'll take, oh, we'll confirm that one. Then we'll take this one and we'll put it down here. We'll actually like turn it upside down like it's like fallen and it's like about to spill out. And there we go, and there we have that. Um, next thing we want to do is now we just want to add some text and and this is going to be the really the highlight of the thumbnail This most important part is the text and so we want it to, to pop out and look really good So we're gonna call this Shadowlands Alchemy guide. Oh, whoops uh, 1 through 175 is is the actual title of this video. So now I have it just like that um, I'm gonna press keep it right there and I want to center all these up just like that um, I'm going to press escape and press V and click this little drag mark right here and hold down shift and size these up. Okay. 
Now I can just see it and now I can choose my text. So uh, right now I have this arrow tool selected and so I don't really have any font uh, editing options. So I'm gonna press T. And now when I press T, it brings up my type tools. You see the little I looking thing by the O right there. Um, and from here, I can click and choose any font I want. Now I happen to know the font I want is Poppins Black. But you can go through, there are plenty of font options. You can also load in your own custom fonts. If you download something from Defont or somewhere else, you can do that right there. Okay, but I'm gonna go with Poppins and I want it to be black. Look at all these options. That's how you know you have a good font when there's a lot of options. Um, so just like that. Oh, do not click that. I'm gonna press V now. Bring us back over and I'm gonna resize just a little bit more. Again, holding down shift. Uh, a bigger font is not a problem. All right, there we go. Now with the select, I'm gonna press T because I want my text to be white. Just like that. All right, press V again, just bring back my, uh, my move tool. I'm gonna right click here and go to my blending options. Now, what I'm gonna do here is uh, I wanna actually add a drop shadow, but this one's not gonna be a traditional drop shadow because I'm gonna bring my spread all the way up. And you see when I do that, it actually fills it in. So I'm gonna bring my opacity all the way up as well. And now you can see it's not a typical drop shadow. It's almost more like a stroke, but with that, I can control the angle and the distance. It gives me a lot more customization and I like that a lot. Um, so I wanna go something like that on maybe a distance about five. Yeah, that distance looks great. From there, I'm gonna go and add a second drop shadow. Now this drop shadow, I want to be white. And I do not want a full spread. And I'm gonna bring my size up. And I really just want um, a nice uh, white, fa uh, like a, a nice white on, on the back, like behind, just like that. Okay, so now you can see, I, that way I have a little more contrast. It makes my text pop a little bit more. So now that I see it, I can bring it back in. I don't want it to be that crazy. There we go, something like that. There we go. Now you see, without, with, it just makes that black uh, pop a little bit more. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring drag this down. I want it below, honestly, everything. Now we have a little bit of dimension with, uh, with our goblin over top of our text. Uh, we have these bottles, which I want one of these bottles kind of up here on top of the text. Um, you know, something, you know, something sort of like that. I feel like it's kind of getting us there. Oh, one other thing I wanted to do is actually add a WoW uh, Shadowlands logo i think when you're working with something like this it's a good idea to have the logo um, i like this one because it's a solid white it just looks really really clean and again copy the image Control v to paste it in here and i'm just going to center it right here at the bottom and i'm probably going to bring it down just a little bit it's a little bit big just like that all right guys we're almost there our final step is to grab our text layer right here i'm going to press Control j to make a complete copy of it uh then i'm going to grab this top one right here Go to blending options. I'm gonna turn off these two drop shadows. Now I'm gonna to go to my gradient overlay. Um, and now I want to give it a nice gradient color. Now I just happen to know this, the colors I want is like an, a nice orange, um, something like maybe a little less than that. A nice orange to yellow. I think that just looks really good. So like. Something like that. Now, obviously that's, I don't want all that. All I want is the word Shadowlands to have that gradient on it. So what I'm gonna do once I get out of these is I'm gonna press my text tool, select this, and I'm gonna click delete. And now Shadowlands has that nice gradient to it and it already makes it pop so much, right? So let's actually go blending options. I want that orange to be a little bit more orange, a little more orange, little, little darker, a little brighter, I don't know, a little more. Just like that. And and there we go. I mean, that is the basis for our thumbnail. Like that is ready for upload, ready to be used. Really doesn't take that long and it's completely repeatable. Whatever game you're playing, whatever you're talking about, find a background that fits, find a character PNG just like we did. Throw the, keep this text, keep this color. Let it be your branding colors, your branding fonts. Um, throw some little elements in there, you know. Um, it can be it can be random, it can be, you know, tossed around wherever wherever you think, it's it's really up to you. It, it doesn't have to be confusing. It doesn't have to be super complex. It just has uh, to get the point across. 
So that's it guys, that's how you do a quick and easy gaming thumbnail that has some dimension, that has some pop, that's gonna stand out from the competition. Speaking of standing out from the competition, if you've ever wanted to turn your Twitch clips into banging TikTok videos, I've actually made several Canva templates for you. Uh, I'll have the link down below if you wanna download those. Those are completely free. I've also made a video on how to make your own, and if you want to do that, I'll have it linked up in the card. And guys, remember, if you're not already, be sure to follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash drheels. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I'd love to see you there. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. All right, PG's down. Right? As long as this attack hits. Come on, Ender. No! Not what we needed. Now, now I've got to take...